Aiden from Andrell and Rush Sports Australia. At Andrell and Rush, we've created a Kite Fit program where we look at improving our abilities in the gym to then improve our abilities on the water. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the next exercise. Hey guys, Braden from Adrenaline Rush Sports Australia. Today I just want to talk about wind direction in reference to your home spot. So uh, I'll, I'll draw Town Beach for us. This, this is our home spot. So basically we've got our beach that generally comes across here. Then we have a, comes up around a little bit. And then we also have, it sort of has a bit of a river mouth all the way out here. Now our beach is generally really big, long and flat. So it comes all the way, extends for kilometers down that way. Now our main kiting spot is somewhere around here. So we have our entrance point here. Now what I'm trying to discuss when it comes to a, in reference to wind direction is basically understanding what wind directions we can kite in and what wind directions we can't kite in and uh, what's going to be the most safest. So like this is a pretty standard style beach, um, just nice long beach. So generally 90% of the year we get southeasterlies. So uh, for Town Beach, that is generally in this direction here. So uh, southeasterly will generally be pretty much directly onshore or maybe slightly crossshore. So in reference to onshore, crossshore, and cr um, cross on and, and offshore, basically directly onshore, the blue pen, just to demonstrate, is pretty much straight onto the beach. So you imagine if you are standing on the beach looking out to the water, it's blowing directly in your face. That's directly onshore. Cross shore is basically any angle towards the beach. So it can be something like this, like that, even on a greater angle down in this direction here. Uh, it's still perfectly fine to, uh, to ride in a cross shore breeze. Uh, or cross on cross onshore breeze. Um, just need to take in consideration, like if we were riding and cross on coming from this direction, we would be riding sort of out here. So sometimes it's good to take in consideration what's going to be downwind of us if we were riding all the way out here. Directly, uh, directly onshore is uh, the same as well. So we can go with the beach or parallel with the beach. Sometimes and generally like it's not a bad direction to ride, uh, can be um, quite, quite good, but sometimes as a beginner, you might struggle, especially if you can't ride up, upwind that well. So something like a cross on would be nice, but if you can't ride upwind that well, sometimes you need to take in consideration, you're probably gonna be riding down here and then walking back up. Now directly cross shore, if I add a little bit more scribble here, is directly down the beach. So you're imagining that this is our beach here, we have the wind going straight down the beach. Now, still a fine uh, wind direction to kite in, and a lot of places do have a directly cross shore breeze. Uh, one thing you need to take in consideration though, especially with a cross shore breeze, is understanding what's gonna be downwind of you. So at Mackay, we're, we're quite safe. So um, this is roughly the, 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 the shape of our beach really long and flat, I mean, we have water, we can stand up, you know, hundreds of meters out in waist deep water, so we're quite lucky there. If something did happen though, when we were uh, riding way out the back on a cross shore breeze, so you'd be riding up and down in this direction here, something did happen up here, you're gonna go downwind, and downwind is generally gonna be, well, you're gonna go downwind, which is pretty much along this direction here. Now understanding what, what is downwind of you is a key thing about staying nice and safe. Uh, on the end of this beach here, we have a rock wall all the way down the end here where the river mouth is. So if something did happen, you would just all drift all the way down to the rock wall if you didn't self-rescue before that. Understanding though, if you were in a location that didn't have a rock wall and you had a rocky point, you might drift straight past that rocky point and uh, continuing out to sea. So understanding that the, uh, the main wind directions that you can kite in is directly onshore, cross on, cross shore, and the one direction that you can't kite in, or it's just unsafe to kite in, and we wouldn't recommend it, is directly offshore, which means the wind is blowing directly off the shore. So if you're standing there facing the water, the wind's going over your head and going out to sea. So if anything did happen, you, you're gonna go downwind, and downwind is directly off, out to sea. So um, that's, that's wind direction in reference to Mackay, especially in Town Beach where we kite 95% uh, of the year. But taking that into consideration, the principles apply to every other beach. So you might have a, you know, a, a shoaly beach or you might have directly cross shore beach that only gets cross shore winds. It's always good to understand what, where the wind's gonna come from and what certain directions and how often those wind directions will blow. Um, and also understanding, go and, go and talk to your local kite shop and say, hey, what's the best uh, wind directions to kite in? So, 
I hope you got a little bit out of that and understanding wind direction and, and how that all works. Remember, the only thing, the only wind direction you can't kite in is offshore. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Braden from Adrenaline Rush. Cheers. Check out adrenalinerush.net.au for all the links.